What's up guys? It's your boy Buzz. Week 1 of the 2023-2024 NFL season is over and I have to say, you know, the first week of the NFL season we got a lot of surprises, um a lot of highs, a lot of lows. So, let's get into the NFL roundup. To start off this week's show, we're going to talk about the devastating news really it's heartbreaking news Aaron Rodgers has suffered an Achilles injury versus the Bills and he will miss the remainder of the season it's it's tragic it's tragic news in so many different levels because our minds fantasize about what it would look like with Aaron Rodgers quarterbacking for the New York Jets, how it would look like, what it would be, especially with how the defense played tremendous last night. And it was just, it all came back down to earth in four plays. And Rodgers is out for the season. We don't know what's going to happen. My heart and my prayers go out to him and his family. I wish him a speedy recovery back if that's what he wants to do because i say i don't know what's gonna happen with this zach wilson is back up in there so comment down below if you have the jets making the playoffs i know this is heartbreaking for jets fans i know this is heartbreaking for the nfl i know this is heartbreaking for even the organization this is even heartbreaking for football fans because we wanted to see, hypothetically, an Aaron, Rodger, an Aaron Rodgers led Jets versus a Patrick Mahomes or a Joe Burrow or a Baltimore Ravens in the playoffs, but not this year, not this year. With that being said, let's talk about Josh Allen and the game he put forward last night against the Jets like what was that Josh Allen had three interceptions he had a touchdown pass nice pass to Diggs but he had three interceptions he fumbled the ball so he had four turnovers his team lost 22 to 16 literally I just want to paint a picture in you guys brain the Jets lost their savior lost their pride and joy this the whole stadium went dead when zach wilson threw the pick hope was already lost there was like oh, okay we've seen this movie again and josh allen did not take advantage of it do you know how awful that looks it looks terrible like what was he doing three picks to the same guy josh allen made jordan whitehead look like prime deon sanders last night it was that horrible if i was a coach i would have pulled him from the game like it was horrible and it didn't it didn't it didn't get better at no point did it get better i thought josh allen was a top five quarterback in the league what what is this what is this i'm looking at what is this I'm witnessing? This is top five quarterback play. This is this is horrible. Josh Allen, you need to get it together. This is not looking good. No, I get it. The Jets defense is a monster. They're a great group. But to look like this, you looked below average. You look lost. Literally. You look lost. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. With that being said, the Cowboys put a butt whooping. I mean, it was just, uh, it was a spanking. 40 to 0 on the New York Giants. Oh my. Like, our Cowboys literally, like legit Super Bowl contenders. Yes. Our Cowboys legit defensively. Yes. But 
are they legit offensively I have question marks comment down below what you guys you think about that because they didn't really play good or offensively and I get it they dropped 40 points but remember the special team scored some points the defense scored some points the offense scored like two touchdowns Tony Pollard ran in two touchdowns that Prescott didn't throw a, pa a, a passing touchdown so it's it looked great from a Cowboys standpoint. I get it. It's forty to zero. It looked great against the the New York Giants. You know they they were awful last night, but they were an NFL team. They made them look like way below their level. And I'll give them props for this win. But I I need to see more, especially from the offensive side of the ball. What's gonna happen when you play offense that actually put points on the board and you know can actually cause the defense some problems you know i'm not expecting teams to like drop 30 and so on the cowboys defense because they're that elite but like i need to see more from the offensive side like with that being said i want to talk about the dolphins offense like comment down below guys what do you think about this dolphins offense i feel this offense will be the best in the league this year in all categories, yards, yards, average, in all in all offensive categories, because this offense is amazing. I mean, let's start with the receivers that you have at your disposal. It doesn't get any better with Tyreek Hill and Jada Waddle. Tyreek Hill had 200, and 200 plus yards the game against the Chargers. He was electric. And then you can't forget Jada Waddle, but you can't even forget Raheem Mostert in the backfield. And when you have an accurate quarterback like Tua Tonga Vailoa, it's just a dangerous situation to be in. I have the Dolphins winning the East, winning the AFC East. They'll be in the playoffs, and I don't know, maybe can, they can float around and win the Super Bowl. Not win, but go to the Super Bowl. We'll see. We're far away ahead from that, and it's just one week. But I like what the Dolphins are doing so far. That being said... The Chiefs, the defending Super Bowl champs. I'm not going to bash them because Patrick Mahomes looked like Patrick Mahomes. I think he did enough for them to win the game because the game was close against Detroit. And Detroit is a good team. I've been telling people, you know, Detroit is a... They're going to be a very good team this year. But they look kind of lost without Travis Kelsey. And they need to tighten up some screws... On the defensive end, which Chris Jones can do with just that. Not that, that not that the defense played bad. They played well enough to win the game. It was clear. It was evident. But, you know, if Mahomes, not Mahomes, if Tony didn't drop that ball into the kid's hand in, from Detroit and he ran it in for a pick six or whatsoever, or Tony didn't drop some other balls, like, he had an awful game. Kadarius Tony had an awful game. He will play better. I, 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 I think he's a good receiver. He, he should play better. He should not. He, not, he should. But I'm not too worried about the Chiefs. I think, think they they'll be fine. They just need to you know, tighten up some screws and get Travis Kelsey back fast enough. So you know, they can make a nice and decent run. Also, I want to talk about Joe Burrow's performance against the Cleveland Browns. I'm not too worried. Yes, he played his most horrific game against the Cleveland Browns Sunday afternoon, but it's one game and, you know, he didn't... He, in his career, he hasn't played well against the Cleveland Browns anyways, so, you know, they know what to do against him. He's, he just has to figure out them if, you know, if they play them in the playoffs or whatsoever, and... But he'll bounce back, you know, he just got his money, he's fresh, he's full of confidence. And he had a calf injury that he's, you know, still working back from. So, I'm not too worried about Joe Burrow. So, yes, that was the NFL Roundup for week one. We'll be back next week again for week two. We have some amazing games to take in. And I know, guys, don't let the Aaron Rodgers injury ruin the rest of this NFL season. It's still going to be a great season. And as I said before, I hope my heart and my prayers goes out 
for Aaron Rodgers. I hope that he, you know, gets a speedy recovery and he's back in no time. So, what's your boy? Stay tuned.